promover otras culturas. Samenwerking. Hi, I'm live broadcasting from the 30 and around is small of Paris. And as you may have just noticed, I have an accent both in English and in French, which means neither of them are my native languages. I have been brought up in Romania and decided to go to France to continue my studies. And I am also wearing the official t-shirt of our independent investigative journalist publication in Romania, that's called Recorder. And what I have been telling you for the last 28 seconds now is what for me being European represents and being part of the European Union family. It means having the possibility to go and study abroad without having to deal with thousands of documents. And it means having the possibility to read independent press. And it means that journalists have the possibility to bring to light injustices without having to fear consequences. Το να είμαι πολίτη χώρα μέλου τη Ευρωπαϊκή Ένωση με κάνει καθημερινά να αισθάνομαι πω ανήκω σε μια μεγάλη οικογένεια χωρών, στην οποία αισθάνομαι ασφάλεια και στήριξη. Ez különösen fontos az országom jelenlegi helyzetében. Tudom, ha a kormányunk cserben is hagy, van lehetőségem más országban otthonra lenni, ahol tisztelik azokat az értékeket, amelyeket én is. Ez az egyik dolog, ami az európai identitás értékét és erejét érzi. Moi, je pense que l'Union européenne, c'est vraiment quelque chose de bien, notamment pour ces directives environnementales, qui sont, qui sont dans l'air du temps et qui, qui sont très intéressantes. Donc, allez voter. Los geht wählen. In the lands of ancient tales and royal strife, where history weaves its tapestry of life, young hearts now beat with fervor's flame to shape a future Europe's name. O oh, youth of Europe, hear the call to rise above the vision, break down the wall. For in unity lies our strength, our might, to build a Europe where all can take place. Through fields of gold and cities of light, we march together side by side in the fight against injustice, hatred and fear to forge a path where all can steer. From the fjords of Norway to Greece islands, let's embrace the differences that beguile, for in diversity we find our power to create a Europe that blooms like a flower. Let's harness innovation, creativity flows to solve the challenges that we now know. From climate change to economic woes, together as one we can oppose. So, young ones with passion burning bright, take up the mantle, stand for what's right. For the continent of Europe, let's endeavor to make it fairer, kinder, forever. I've just got one more thing to say. In this cast for a brighter day, Amina from Romania leads the way with passion fierce, her spirits ablaze. She champions Europe in myriad ways. From Carpathian peaks to Danube's flow, Amina dreams of a Europe to bestow, where every voice, no matter the place, adds to the chorus the harmonious space. For Amina knows, as everything should, that change begins when hearts are understood. With courage bold and dreams held high, together they'll reach the sky. So let's stand tall like Amina's call for a Europe where hope can never fall. Where every teenager with passion true fights to make their dreams come true. There are parts of the world where countries, societies, and people are plagued by division. The reasons for division may be different, but division has unfortunate consequences. In the world full of unfortunate division, European Union is a shining example of what fortunate goodness unification in the world can bring. For me, I can proudly admit that European life and EU gives me immense hope for the entire world. Hope that if we can be united with each other, nothing is impossible. 
The European Union has proven that different languages, culture, food and even history of countries is not a valid reason to be divided. With their cooperation and joint venture, they are leaders in economic and social growth in their region. And EU even provides help to the nation across the globe. For instance, I am able to make this video because my study program is funded by the European Union. This has opened an adventurous chapter in my life where I met incredible friends, researchers and learned so many new concepts. This current education I got in Europe gives me confidence that I will be able to contribute well in my future workplace and to the society. All I can say is that my study here has changed my life in an incredibly good way and gives me hope that work can be a better place too. Let us be inspired by taking EU as an example of unity and I wish all the best for the upcoming EU elections. Thank you. I am Roshan Yamin and I will share what EU means to me through my story. Thanks to European Union's Erasmus Munda scholarship, I have embarked on a journey with Hungary diving to sustainability in agriculture and food science. Here, amidst the blend of culture and ideas, my purpose has found its voice. My mission is to redefine the future of food with not just potential meat substitutes but the seeds of change, sustainable LT-based meat alternatives that can feed our planet without harming it. When I think of the European Union, I see more than a collection of countries. I see a unique fusion of cultures, ideas and aspirations all united under the roof of unity, innovation and transformation. So the message I want to convey is a call to action, a reminder of our shared responsibility to the planet and to ourselves. Because together, in the EU, we have the power to change the world. The EU matters now more than ever. Hello, my name is Sophia. And my name is Alina. We are students of the Cherkasy State Business College. In this video, we will explain what the European Union means for us and emphasize its importance for Ukraine. The European Union for us is a future where we are developing rapidly together with other member states. It is an opportunity to never return to the dark history pages when Ukrainian lands were pressured by Russia. On February 7, 2019, the Verkhovna Rada established Ukraine's full integration clause in the European Union and NATO in the Constitution. For us, it means following these basic principles. Sovereignty and solidarity, where all decisions are made and achieved together. Because in the EU, all countries have mutual responsibility and help each other when needed. An open market where commodities, services, people and capital can move freely to promote economic growth and development. Protection of human rights, where everyone has the right for their opinion and expression. To never repeat the mass repressions, the executed renaissance, the Holodomor and the heavenly hundred. Democracy and transparency, where citizens actively participate in the decision-making and are responsible to the public. In general, Ukraine's accession to the European Union could be a significant contribution to the expansion of the internal market, increase the EU's influence on the world stage, and most importantly, strengthen defense and security cooperation between the countries. So what is the European Union for us? It is not only a political alliance, but a symbol of future support, development and security. Accession to the EU opens the door to new opportunities including political and economic advantages, cultural exchange, and strengthening of human rights. So we are sure soon we will be a part of the European family. Hello everyone, my name is Zanette and I'm from Latvia. And today I want to talk about two things. One of the things is going to be what European Union has given to me, and the other one is going to be what is the core of European Union for me? I had this amazing opportunity to learn from exchange students while they were in uh, my university, which is Witsum University of Applied Sciences. And uh, we were working in the same group, group 
and uh, we had some uh, assignments to do and uh, I also learned something about these people and I hope they did learn something also from me. Second thing I want to talk about is protection in all of its forms. You can name it. Discrimination, personal data leaks and also European health insurance card which thankfully I have not used in any of my trips uh, being abroad but I always keep it to myself just in case I need it because you never know what can happen. European Union has also given me the chance to experience new and eye-opening things. One of the things was when I was just in high school, which was like six years ago, I was able to go on to Erasmus Plus program and uh, it was uh, a project called Youth for Refugees. Talking about new experiences, I had the amazing chance also to take part in uh, uterus activities while I was studying in my university and take part altogether in four projects. The second thing that I want to talk about is what is the core of the European Union for me? And in one word, it's connection. One way or another, we are all connected. Also, the core of the European Union for me is to be able to live in peace. And uh, I know for a fact that uh, I can feel safe and protected, not only as a citizen of Latvia, but also as a citizen of the European Union. What does the EU mean to me? Well, it means a lot. The EU, in a big picture, means freedom, freedom to travel, to meet new people, to learn from others, and many more. It also means safety, safety from corruption, war, safety for our rights. But those are all big picture things. And well, in my personal life, there are smaller things that can be more meaningful in a day-to-day -day sense, even if in a big picture they're not as important. Friendship. Friendship is a wonderful thing, perhaps the most wonderful thing we have as humans. And well, EU to me means friendship. I've met friends thanks to EU. I've made friends on trips that wouldn't be possible without the EU. I've made friends across borders because, well, the EU opened up those borders. I've made friends across cultures in a Europe that is, for the most part, still at peace. For almost... I've made friends not despite of, because of my differences, because we are all different, wonderful people who have gotten to be our own group, our own collection of wonderful people, without having to change who we are, we can appreciate each other, each other's differences, each other's similarities. The EU, to me, means friendship and all the wonderful things that come with it. We're in the European Union. Of course, we can travel around Europe only with our ID card. We are in the European Union. Of course, we get funding for our projects and education. We are in the European Union. Of course, our country is more respected in the world. We are the European Union. Of course, we have access to the single market. We are the European Union. We have 27 countries and you can be the next one. In today's fast-paced world, the youth of Europe are caught in a relentless cycle of hustle and bustle. Amidst this chaos, one aspect of their lives often takes a back seat to their health. Convenience has become king. Ready-made meals and junk food dominate our diets, leaving little room for nourishing our bodies. 
As a broke college student, I eat food that is cheaper and takes less time to cook like 10 minutes frozen meals, cup noodles, or spaghetti and ketchup. But I have come to realize that the key to success isn't found in the snack or the frozen food section. It is in investing in your health that could pave the way for long-term prosperity. By prioritizing our health, we're not just nourishing our bodies, we're investing in our future. Because the truth is, healthy food isn't just fuel for the body, it's fuel for success. My roommate. She buys expired frozen meals, pre-cooked meals and snacks from the social market to save money and time. This is a silent battle being fought across EU. The youth, caught in the whirlwind of modern life, find themselves entangled in a web of unhealthy choices. Eating ultra-processed, 15 minutes frozen meals, predigested food and junk food could lead to risk of diabetes, heart diseases, fatty liver diseases, depression, and could shorten our lifespan. As a united EU, together we can fight this battle.